have another episode of Omira's Kitchen. Welcome, welcome into my home, welcome into my kitchen. We are making delicious, moist meatballs. So, we're gonna start. I'm gonna show you my recipes. We're gonna start with the 60 minutes. I might need my full 60 minutes today, so we're gonna start. Welcome again. So we're gonna start with our 60 minutes. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna turn my pans on. My water's boiling with my potatoes. I'm making meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and um, air fried asparagus. Yes, air fried asparagus. So first and foremost, this is a ranch onion dressing. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, maybe a half, into my potatoes that are boiling. So that way we get that like, um, while they're boiling, we are seasoning them, right? Okay, so that's half the packet. Remember, I put half the packet of sour, um, ranch sour onion. All right, and then we have our, our um, bread, because bread is very important when you're making meatloaf. You're just gonna cut it right up into little small pieces. And we're going to get some milk, can of carnation milk. And we're just going to put the milk in the bread, right? And we're gonna soak that milk up. I mean, we're gonna soak that bread up with the milk that I just put in here. Why? Because that is what's going to keep our meatloaf moist. There's nothing like, there's nothing worse than like a dry meatloaf, right? All right, so we're gonna put this, wish washer. <laughs> um, we're gonna put a little bit of in here. Worcestershire maybe like two or three dabs. All right, and that's just gonna soak right on up, right? All right, I got my meat. I got three pounds of meat, okay? Lean meat. While my pan is on high, I'm heating it up. I'm gonna put it on medium now, and I'm just gonna dump in my peppers, and I got green peppers, and I got red peppers, and onions. I like to saute my onions before I put it in the meatloaf. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with, obviously, black pepper. Black pepper. And then if we're doing three, if we're doing three pounds, for every pound, you want to put in one egg. So we're doing three pounds of beef. We're going to put three eggs. We're cracking three eggs. In. We're gonna put in some onion powder. We're gonna put in some garlic powder. Three teaspoons of onion powder. And we're gonna put three teaspoons of garlic powder. This is the garlic now. One, two, <clears throat> and three. You wanna, you wanna season your meatloaf like well seasoned, okay. So we have pepper, we did the onion powder, we did the garlic powder, and we're gonna put in some paprika. A little bit of paprika. Same thing, three, three tablespoons. Sorry, I keep on saying tablespoons. Teaspoons, three teaspoons. And we're gonna put in some Larry's. Larry's has salt, so I'm not gonna add no salt. This is, this is an, enough. Right? All right, I'm gonna wash my hands really good because I'm going to mix all those flavors in now. Some people put raw onions in, raw potato, um, peppers, but I like to cook mine. I don't know, I just like it like that. I think it um, makes it more moist. It, um, the peppers and the onions are cooked. They're not hard. Uh, when you take it, if you don't, if you don't cook your peppers and your onions, when you make your meatloaf, they could come out a little hard still in the meat. So I like to cook it. Sure. I have my peppers and onions sauteing in the pan. I'm gonna add that in in a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to add in my my bread that I had it in milk. I have my bread and milk. It's can of carnation, or half of it. 
with two slices of bread, you cut it up, and you add, and you add some milk. It's just gonna be so moist, so good. And I'm going to add some parsley and some green onions. Parsley and green onions. I'm gonna put some ketchup. And now I'm going to just add my sauteed peppers and onions. Remember, I put in a red pepper and I put in an orange pepper. You could use whatever you want, your choice. And I'm gonna just mix this all up. It's a little hot because I just made I just sauteed the onions and peppers, but we got this. You evenly mix this so it all the seasonings could touch every piece of meat. Alright, wash my hands again. There's two more things that I gotta put add in here. I'm gonna add in the rest of this sour, this uh, ranch sour cream. And I'm gonna add in a little bit more of this. Worcestershire sauce. All right. That is done. I'm gonna get my bowl, my pan that I'm going to put my meat loaf in. You wanna make sure that you spray your pan. All right. And you don't wanna get a huge pan. You wanna get a small pan to fit the meat loaf so that way when the juices are flowing, the juices stay within the meatloaf. It doesn't just, you know, the juices start flowing and then you're gonna lose all that, that flavor. You're gonna lose, um, it's gonna be dry. That's how it's gonna dry out. If you get a big pan, the juices start running away and we don't want that. Look at how beautiful this looks. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out because I'm gonna make a glaze and a nice like ketchup and um, barbecue sauce that I made. All right, so in the oven, 350 for 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and then I'm going to add my glaze. It's all done, popping it right in. I'm gonna make my glaze that I put on my meatloaf. All right, so my glaze is a little bit of barbecue sauce. A lot. <laughs> I put a half a cup of brown sugar. I put Dijon mustard. Um, and I'm putting a little bit of pepper. So I put and I'm gonna put ketchup. Do not forget ketchup. All right, so I got ketchup, barbecue sauce, Dijon mustard, brown sugar, and a little bit of this again. Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna mix that up and that's the sauce that I'm gonna put on top of my meatloaf. So good, right? We're gonna mix this right on up. Ketchup, brown sugar, Dijon mustard, uh, what else? Barbecue sauce, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna put another finger. Perfect, now it's perfect. All right, that's my glaze. I'm gonna put another timer on for our meatloaf. So that way we can put the glaze on it. After 30 minutes, you put the glaze and you pop it back in. All right, okay, so we're gonna start working on my asparagus. I'm just going to check real quick the potatoes, see if they're ready. Not ready yet. Okay, so I have my asparagus. Make sure when you have asparagus, you cut the white parts. Doesn't taste good. You cut all the white parts. So I cut all the white parts, I washed it, I cleaned it right on up. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to add pepper. I'm going to add garlic. You know what? I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add fresh garlic. So I added pepper. I added garlic, and I'm gonna add my olive 
oil. Okay, so we have salt, we have garlic, fresh garlic, and we have pepper. And we're just going to move these right on so we can have, get all the garlic, all the olive oil, all the salt, and all the pepper. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. Not right now, but like in a couple of minutes, because it's only gonna take about eight to 10 minutes in the air fryer. So this is gonna be seasoning. I'm gonna put the top on. Remember, we have fresh garlic, we have salt, pepper, and olive oil. I'm gonna put the top on, and I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, I have my potatoes. I just drained it them. And we are gonna use our mash. All mash it. All right. Show you guys how this works. Let's see. You see that? It's gonna make the the mashed potatoes so like it's not gonna be too clumpy, not too thick. It's gonna be like just right. Don't fail me now. Woo! Yes. It looks like a uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add in my sour cream. You want about a half a cup of sour cream. Okay. Some salt. Be generous with that salt. That's going to give it so much flavor. All right, and then we're going to do our... Pepper, and I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic, and we're going to put in a little bit of milk. And then, once that's done, we're just going to mix it right on up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now we're gonna add in the butter. I didn't forget about the butter. I do the butter last so we could just put everything together, right? <laughs> so I'm putting about three tablespoons of butter, three teaspoons of butter. I mix that right on in and I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. And then I'm going to add in some cheese, some cheddar cheese. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give it a little, you know, other flavor. You don't have to add it if you don't want. Delicious. All right. That is done. My mashed potatoes is done. And then here. All right. So remember, I put fresh garlic. I wish you guys could smell this when I opened it. Fresh garlic. Salt, pepper, and olive oil. A little bit more salt in there. All right, and I'm going to put it on for about eight to 10 minutes. Let's see. I'm loving the heart. Okay. All right, I'm just going to add, again, my, my glaze. to my meatloaf. And this is the glaze that I made earlier, guys. Um, if you guys weren't on, it's ketchup, it's barbecue, a little bit of pepper, uh, what else, Dijon mustard, and hold on, I'm gonna get it because I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it. And a little bit of this. Worcestershire sauce. The W sauce. All right, so you see this glaze? I'm gonna see that and pop it right back in the oven. Okay, all right, I think we're ready. So I'm gonna start plating. I got my mashed potatoes. I got my asparagus. Tell me that does not look good. I'm gonna this. It's 
Oh my god. This looks like so amazing. Okay. It's so moist, guys. Mm. It's so moist. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I just wish you guys could try this meatloaf. If you have not cooked meatloaf like this, please go cook it like this. Let me know how it is. It's so different. It's so moist. If you just follow my follow my directions and follow my ingredients, I promise you. I promise you. It's so good. I'm sorry. No complaints. My asparagus is really good. My mashed potatoes are nice. Butter, garlic, cheesy. I have my meatloaf so moist with that, that bread and that milk that I let it soak. Mm. Yes. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, asparagus. So good. Again, catch me on Thursday, guys, with your um, snacks to satisfy your late night cravings. Good night. Peace and love.